What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Brienne and in today's video we are going to be talking about plastic surgery and the toxic beauty standards of today. Before we start this video, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, and yeah, let's get into this right now. This topic has been weighing heavy on my mind for a long time and just seeing the amount of young women on social media getting really insecure about how they look naturally right away going to change their bodies and change their faces. It's at an alarming rate right now and it's kind of disappointing because I feel like so many women just aren't loving themselves fully and I just wanted to really make this video to kind of discuss it and then talk about how we can improve ourselves as a society and as young women. So with social media being one of the most influential platforms in today's day and age, it is very very easy for girls to be confused on what is real and what is not real. Today, unrealistic beauty standards are set when a young girl downloads her first app, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, so, so, so many apps. And the toxicity of beauty has become a plague. Everywhere around the world, there are different standards of beauty, whether that's media, you might see this on a television show, you might see this in a movie, you might see this on a billboard, but young women are constantly being influenced just by living and existing in this world. And this has led to numerous mental health issues. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but all over social media, it seems that everybody has depression, everybody has anxiety, everybody's suffering with some type of mental illness. And I honestly feel like the cause of this really stems from social media, especially when it comes to young women and even men. We are constantly comparing ourselves to what other people have or what it appears that they do have. And this is what comes from apps like Instagram, apps like TikTok. We are constantly feeding the view that perfection is reachable when indeed it is not. And this unfortunately causes young women to see themselves and want to change their image. So many young women are now not having the same goals that there used to be. Now I think it is an amazing platform to have social media and be social media famous and make money off of it, being an influencer. But a lot of the reasons why women are wanting to go to these forms of jobs like being an influencer is mainly because they feel like that is the epitome of what it is to be the best version of themselves. Before, in order to be successful, you had to have a talent, you had to be smart, you had to be educated so many other categories as well but those were the main ones now it's just being pretty and that's what a lot of girls want to do according to a study there has been a large rise in young girls only creating social media accounts to become social media influencers they solely take photos just to get those likes and why you might ask these quote-unquote instagram models social media influencers fit all society's expectations of attractiveness most of these models have the perfect skin the perfect body the perfect life the perfect man they have everything that these young girls are feeding into and want so badly. It's incredibly hard to scroll through Instagram and not see a girl that fits within one of those standards that I just listed. Delve took a survey of about a thousand women aged 18 to 64 and asked them one question. That question being, has their conception of beauty been shaped by social media? 25% of those women claimed that their conception of beauty was indeed shaped by social media and 78% of the women surveyed felt that the portrayal of women on these platforms is incredibly unrealistic. And this goes into, which I just Discuss a little bit about women wanting to alter their bodies at as young as 18. The amount of women that I've seen on social media apps, specifically TikTok, going into different countries, risking their lives with their best friend or with their sibling to go get a BBL is astronomical. It's all I see on my timeline now. I am all for do what makes you happy, embrace yourself, but I honestly feel like getting plastic surgery at as young as 18 years old, you have not fully learned to love yourself. We use plastic surgery as a quick and easy fix, but nobody thinks about the several modifications that come with plastic surgery and the upkeep of it, okay? Hi, we're gonna show before and after photos. Um, hopefully this video can touch a million people that are considering getting a BBL or Dr. Miami. Mwah. And before I get into it, um, we do have a bunch of story times on this. There's one in particular that has like 500,000 views. If you're having a bad day and need to laugh, go watch that. I think it's called the Victor Twins Plastic Surgery Nightmare. Hilarious. Hilarious. So this is my before. Look how uneven my hips are. It's just tragic. Uh, like, I can't. Oh my god. Are we ready? It's giving me cement. Look at this. 
like oh my oh my god oh my god this is my revision clearly i mean my underwear one side stuck up my butt more but my butt is perfectly symmetrical with my thighs and i just look better my hips are even do not go to dr miami don't another really popular thing i've seen are women altering their noses the amount of tiktoks i've seen of women going to get a nose job to change their noses that show their ethnic background is disgusting, honestly. It upsets me because these women are beautiful with their normal nose, their regular nose, but we're all achieving this Barbie doll look of a nose that we all see on social media. And like I said, I am honestly all for being happy and doing what makes you happy, but you will never ever be fully content with your body if you don't fix what's on the inside first accept your flaws a lot of these women are going to get this their bodies done in alter themselves because they are not happy with themselves on the inside and once you get one procedure done you're gonna want to get more done because you're never going to be completely happy with it because surgery does not equal perfection surgery is not a miracle okay i personally am only pro-surgery when it comes to a mommy makeover I see what happens to women's bodies after they have kids and it is extremely hard to kind of achieve that body back. Now, I think that you probably should work out first, but if working out is not working and if you're seriously working out and eating healthy, you're actually putting in the effort, if that doesn't work, I think you definitely should go get surgery and make yourself feel great. And I'm not going to say never say never is plastic surgery because I don't know what I'm going to do in the future, what's going to make me unhappy, but I know for a fact I'm going to work towards being so happy with myself that I won't ever want to think about going on that table to get work done. I honestly have learned to love my body, love my face. I love every attribute of me. So I just don't see myself anytime soon getting anything done. And I understand, do not get me wrong. I understand that I have what is considered the ideal body. I'm skinny. I don't have to worry about what I eat. I wish I had a bigger butt sometimes. And even then I accepted my body. I don't care. I don't know. I just want to say we are teaching girls today that the natural them is not beautiful. And these women go and alter their faces, they alter their bodies, but they forget that their children will be born with those natural features. And what are you telling your future daughter or son about their features when you went and got it fixed when they complained about their features at 15? Another thing that people forget is that surgery is so dangerous. If there is not no medical need to go and get surgery, I don't agree with getting surgery. I don't think you need to get surgery because you're putting yourself at risk. So Jocelyn Cano, who is a OnlyFans Instagram uh, model, went to get her second BBL done after supposedly doctors said no, they didn't want to do any more additional BBL or fat transfer procedure to uh, her buttock area. So she went to Columbia, got a second procedure, and then she died. This was December 7th, last Monday. That's all we really know about the situation and we're trying to wait to hear more information about it. But a lot of people don't understand that a Brazilian butt lift or fat transfer procedure can actually be very deadly if in the wrong hand. So here in the United States, we're actually giving guidelines as a member of the American Board of Plastic Surgery. We're board certified. We're giving instructions after a study was done that showed by injecting certain ways for the buttocks is actually very deadly because it causes fat embolism to go to the heart through these blood vessels. So we're actually given a lot of guidance on how to do these operations safely. Other countries, other specialties may not have that same benefit, okay? So we don't know if that's what happened if she had a fat embolism, but it could be possible. One out of 3,000 people die from BBLs. Now that may sound like, hey, I'll take my chances. Like that's not that big of an odd, but you could easily be that one person. As of December, 2020, which was like three months ago, BBLs are known as the most fatal cosmetic procedure out of all cosmetic procedures. So let's get into these influencers that all these young girls look up to and wanna be and go lay down on a table for them because they wanna look like them and had the same life as they do. Girls go and get surgery and still use a ton of filters and body modification apps, okay? Why? Because perfection does not exist. The ideal look they're trying to achieve through surgery does not exist. There's no such thing as perfection. So yes, they still use every Instagram filter. Yes, they still use Visco. Yes, they still use Facetune because perfection does not exist. What we see on social media is not real. No amount of surgery in the world can achieve that perfect hourglass look that so many achieve. Now you may see on social media like, oh my God, their body looks so nice. But I promise you so many of them still cinch their waist in even more. And we've seen it so many times, okay? Social media is fake. So many women that appear perfect on social media look very different in person. I have seen a few girls that 
look very va va voom pretty face yes on social media but then i see them in person i'm like who that's the same person it's all fake okay it's fake now i'm not gonna say everybody's fake but a large majority are fake and that's mainly because they're not happy with themselves within okay we would still find them beautiful in real life if they did not show a more perfect side of them on social media because yes they are beautiful but if we see a better version of you on a regular basis we're gonna be like hey you don't look the same and that honestly really damages young girls because they're looking at this we're looking at this let me say and we're like hey why can't i look like that why does she have this why is her nose like this why is her body like that where does she get that from how that work and that's because people want to look quote unquote social media acceptable the more attractive you look on social media the more likes you get correct and that what boosts our self-esteem we don't care what we look like in person because for the most part people don't really see us in person we reach a larger audience when we're on social media and that boosts how we feel so a lot of these girls don't care if they look different in person they are like hey if i look bomb on instagram i get paid for looking like that so I'm going to go into the celebrities that continuously perpetuate these unrealistic beauty standards and ideas. So one group that we're going to go into, and I think y'all already know who I'm going to say before I even say it, is the Kardashians. I find it extremely irresponsible to not be open about getting plastic surgery done when you have such a large platform like the Kardashians. Altogether, the Kardashians have about 600 million followers. That is almost a billion people. And there are 7 billion people on this earth. And I'm quite sure each of these girls, it's kind of painfully obvious, have had some work done. Now, these girls have been open about their minor surgeries, but not the major ones, which are the most important ones. It's quite obvious that Kim, Chloe, and Kylie have gotten major work done. I mean, the girls look completely different, but they continue to ignore or deny that they've had any work done. Let's talk about this Chloe Kardashian photo that just got leaked not too long ago. So, unless you live under a rock, I'm sure you guys know about the Chloe Kardashian photo of her getting leaked that her grandma grandmother I think her name's Mary Jo that she posted on her social media and Chloe did not approve it and she basically started getting anybody that posted that picture to get it taken down legally and anybody that spoke about the picture <laughs> me to legally take this photo down and get rid of it and if that does not scream I don't love myself I don't know what else does Chloe could have used this moment to really tell girls to love themselves and that it's okay that I look human, I don't look like how I do on my Instagram photos, but I'm human because all these girls are looking at her and they're like, oh my God, I want to look like Khloe Kardashian. Why doesn't my body look like that? But she doesn't even look like that. That was a perfect time for her to really take accountability and really take control of the situation. Instead, she made herself look like a complete fool. She decided to go on live and show that her body isn't altered and that it doesn't really look like that photo, it was just a bad photo. She decided to go on a huge rant on Instagram explaining like how she is beautiful and how she's constantly been clowned and accused of using Facetune and body modification apps. But this could have been a lesson because we all know she still is a huge problem why young girls literally have so much body dysmorphia. Now I'm not saying it's her fault but she has a platform she should have used it the correct way instead of playing victim. And just from that I kind of lost complete respect for her and I feel like she used to be like this fun cool chick but I think that the way people treated her really got in her head which I do not think is right people calling her the ugly Kardashian or being mean to her I don't think that's right at all but she also does really perpetuate body standard toxicity and the movement of plastic surgery so even with Chloe denying that she uses any form of editing of her body and of her face you know she looks completely different Whenever we watch the show or people see clips of the show, I don't personally watch the show, but I would see clips of it. Chloe looks completely different. We see when they move, even Kylie Jenner. I don't, Kylie Jenner looks like a whole different person in video, in my opinion. They all look different. So I don't know why she made the photo such a big deal. Like I said, she should have handled this a much better way, but she did it because we see how she looks when she's on video. And I'm sure people see how she looks when she's in person because they look very different. Social media pretty is different than in-person pretty. But I must say, many of these top influencers use body editing on their videos as well. Yes, their videos. Take a look at this clip that I saw on TikTok not too long ago.
So if you have the best apps, you can edit your face, you get rid of blemishes, you could make your waist look smaller, make your butt look bigger on video. You can see obviously where the little curves are like in the wall like where you see that it was edited, but it's so minuscule you can't really tell. But it is insane the amount of effort that these girls go into even though they're already skinny or they already have a nice body but they go into so much because it's body dysmorphia. A lot of these girls do not realize that they're beautiful because of toxic beauty standards today. Even your favorite top influencers are hella insecure. They can't even sit down and make a video without using some form of body modification app. Normal isn't in anymore and that really causes so many issues when it comes to men and what they expect from us women. Men have increasingly unrealistic ideas of what a woman's body should look like hence why many girls go and get work done mainly for attention. They want the male attention or they want that validation on social media. Going through a BBL the healing process after is a killer and it's dangerous and any small mistake you make while you're healing could affect your entire BBL and make it not even worth it. You just wasted 10 to $20,000 on that. But let me just say this, as a society, we need to protect young girls and ourselves. The only way this is going to change is if society begins to open their minds to different types of beauty besides the ones that are expected. All races, body shapes, hair textures and styles, stretch marks, tummy fat, all of that should be accepted. We need to move forward and away from these outdated beauty standards, okay? Let's not move backwards, let's move forward and understand that perfection is what you're born with. Perfection doesn't necessarily exist, but God made you perfect and you need to be able to accept who you are and how you look because you're a blessing. Doing this will give all women the confidence they need to be themselves without fear of any judgment. We just need to branch out and accept everybody because everybody deserves to be loved and everybody deserves to be accepted. Those differences make us beautiful in who we are today. And I am done preaching. That is the end of this video, y'all. I want to know y'all thoughts, opinions, and comments. Please let me know because I just feel like this is definitely something that is a problem in society, these toxic beauty standards. And I could say this stem from toxic masculinity, but I also want to have women understand that they can be a problem too when it comes to promoting these very unhealthy beauty standards. So I love you all so, so, so very much. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.